Welcome. Today, you will be watching my Civil Rights and Ruby Bridges documentary. Thanks, and enjoy. Ruby Bridges was born on September 8, 1954, in Tylertown, Mississippi. When she was six years old, in 1960, she and her family moved to New Orleans, Louisiana. On the route to, to her first day of school, she was escorted by Federal Marshal School William France Public School, which was a segregated all-white school before she came along. When Ruby went to school, she was met by many protesters and the knowledge of the idea of an African-American girl going to school with their child or children. The protesters threw tomatoes and their words around, trying to discourage Ruby from going to William France each and every day. Ruby Bridges hoped to give life into the civil rights movement. After she got a lot of publicity for going to William France, Martin Luther King Jr. and many other activists were given motivation. After she desegregated William France, activists started to participate in their freedom rides and the March on Washington happened. About 15 years after the Civil Rights Movement started, the Civil Rights Act of 1968 was passed by Congress. In those 15 years, many African American people died for what they believed in, racial equality. On August 28, 1963, 250,000 people gathered in the nation's capital for the historic March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. The march rallied Americans to stand up against the continuing political and social injustices African Americans still faced 100 years after emancipation. The march took place at a critical moment in the civil rights movement. Tension and racial unrest had been building up throughout the year with anti-segregation demonstrators making headlines in Alabama and President John F. Kennedy announcing his intention to pass civil rights legislation, the timing was right for a massive demonstration. Thank you for watching my documentary.